Hey guys, how's it going? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review, we are looking at the new Spider-Man Legends Carnage figure. And Carnage is easily my favorite character that has black wrinkly lines all over him. By far the best. He's really cool. But I really do like Carnage, all joking aside. This character, this figure, it's super plain and super awesome at the same time. He has no sculpt work on him other than these tendrils that are attached. He has new hands and a new head, but the body is completely plain. It's the Bucky Cat body, so we've seen it a bunch. It's a very decent body. I'm fine with that. And I'm fine that it doesn't have any sculpt work. It technically doesn't need it. Sure, the black things could be sculpted, but it's not necessary. So, while being super plain in the body region, it's perfectly okay, so that's all right. The newly sculpted hands, perfectly appropriate for Carnage. It would have been cool if we got alternate hands with him as well. Like, maybe like the Toy Biz figure where he had the axe, or I think he had like a bigger hand maybe, I don't remember anymore. But the interchangeable ones would have been cool, but we didn't get them. But still, nicely sculpted. This one's more of a gripping hand. This one's kind of a gripping hand, but more of just like a hand like that. You have to make that noise too, by the way. And then he does have the tendrils, the goopy things coming out. This one's removable, so if you don't like that, that's fine. I probably would leave it on just to give the character some more of a composition. But I don't care for the fact that they kind of hang over the head. It would have been cool if they just stuck out, but maybe some hot water will fix that. Not sure. Head sculpt. Let's get that out of the way with the head sculpt. I do like it. In some poses, it looks like the head's a little big just because of the open mouth. But it's really not. I think it's just fine. The sculpt is really good. You can see all of his chompers and his tongue. The eyes are sculpted, so everything looks good. Except for the paint on the eyes for mine. It's kind of shoddy. It's not like this nice pearly white, so that's going to be really hard to touch up for somebody that needs to. Good news is most of the problem is going to be touched up with black. So if you need to do that, shouldn't be too, too bad, which I'll probably do. His tongue is pink, actually, so they went the extra mile and painted it pink instead of just leaving it red. So, again, this figure, just like the rest of the wave for the most part, super successful. I'm really happy with the Spider-Man wave. It is by far the best. Again, I keep saying it, and I think that really means something because you guys know how hard I am on the Legends. I'm really happy with this Spider-Man wave. He could have used a black wash all over, I think, and having just the painted black uh, lines, whatever you call those, I think they maybe could have been done a little better. Some of them are a little lacking. Like you can see here, there's a scratch it looks like, and then some of them are kind of a off black, like flat grayish color, but... Still, it looks pretty darn good, and I'm more than happy to have this guy. Easily the best carnage we've gotten. So that's cool. He stands to the top of his head about... He's a little bit taller, it looks like. Oh, closer to six and a half. Maybe like six and three-eighths inches tall. So he's a little bit taller than Spidey, and that's okay by me. As far as the articulation goes, the head's on a ball peg disc. So it's got the full range of motion on top of the peg. Doesn't rock side to side too much, but it is a swivel. Goes all the way back. All the way forward, standard bicep or shoulder ball disc, ball hinge, bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, wrist swivel and pivot, ab crunch works both ways, waist twist, standard thighs, pretty good range of motion. Again, not the best going to the side, but good enough. Thigh swivel, double jointed knees, boot swivel, which I still don't like, but it's all right because you can just leave it straight. And he has new lower legs. It looks like. Maybe he doesn't, maybe they just look skinnier because of all the line work on there. But they look good. He does have new feet. So that's nice. They're pointy like they should be and they have the pivot and the ankle rocker. So even though it looks like maybe the shins are the same as before, since these are just glued on. Well, they're glued on and kind of recessed. So maybe it's a whole new sculpt. I'm not sure. It's hard to tell. But either way, it looks much better than some of the other figures like... Where'd you go? Like this guy, he's got the really fat ankles, so it looks a little weird. The ankles are bigger than the feet, so that's odd looking. This guy, it's not quite as bad, but I think it's probably just an optical illusion due to the lines, because they look to be pretty much the same lower legs. Either way, Carnage looks great, and of course, this shouldn't even be a question. You need to buy him. He's... Like I said, the best carnage, and he's really good. And I might have called him Venom once or twice in this video. I do that sometimes. I say the wrong thing. So if I did, you don't have to leave a comment. Just ignore it, and you know it's carnage. So there you go. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for more figure reviews, custom figures, and other good stuff. In the meantime, keep collecting.